So we've moved out into deeper water because we saw some adult chronomids drifting by the boat when we were anchored shallower. So we, we're now anchored in about 27 feet of water and we've switched to full sinking fly lines to imitate a third technique for catching fish with chronomid pupa. So I've got on a slow sinking fly line right now. I've cast it out approximately 27 feet and I'm waiting for the fly line to sink till it's completely vertical straight up and down. You can use this technique to fish all three of the chronomid pupil patterns that we tied. The black and red ice cream cone, the reddish brown chronomid pupa, and the chromium. Once we get our fly line sunk up straight up and down, I'm going to initiate a very slow hand twist retrieve, which will imitate the natural movement or elevation of the pupa up to the surface of the water. I want to keep my rod tip in the water or as close to the water as possible. And I'm just going to use a real slow but steady retrieve, bringing the fly all the way up to the surface of the lake. Fish will often hit fairly hard on this retrieve, on this technique, as they often will swim down on the fly to grab it. And so it can have to be quite a jolt when they hit you. So you want to be prepared to hold on to that rod. So we're imitating exactly what the real chronomid people are doing out in this deep water. When we're fishing shallower, like 20 feet and less, then we can use the floating line techniques that we talked about, either with an indicator, a strike indicator, or using um, the naked system without an indicator. But in this deeper water, it's often more effective to be using the full sinking fly lines. There's a fish. Oh, did he hit? <laughs> and they're on that sinking fly line. They just go pull the rod. <laughs>